Hey everyone and welcome to the Drone New Experience Training. Welcome to Drone News Now. We're coming to you with absolutely breaking news, things that might change the drone industry as a whole. Some of these changes might have many of you raving and some of these changes might have many of you crying. So let's go over these three new executive orders that just took place and the impacts that it's going to have on the drone industry as we know it and understand it now. First and foremost, Donald Trump or the president of the United States did enact three new executive orders. One of them is to expand BVL BVLOS operations across the United States within the next, well, 240 days. That's right, within 240 days, they're going to implement rules to allow mass beyond visual line of sight operations, empowering things like drone delivery, mail delivery, medical delivery, and so much more, even remote inspections. That would allow robots all over the country to do inspections at the drop of a hat. Think of installations that are security risks and they don't wanna send someone at the butt crack of dawn to go view who is you know, prying over the fence at any given installation. Now with remote operations and beyond visual line of sight, they can just pop up a drone and have some kid get paid behind a computer to view what's going on. That being said, that might get you excited. A new eVTOL program might get you excited as well as they further push urban air mobility or drone taxis across the country. They wanna make sure that America stays at the forefront of aviation, um, at the forefront of unmanned aviation as a whole. Many of you will be excited to hear too that Donald Trump is asking the FAA to implement artificial intelligence to speed up the waiver process. If you're applying for an airspace authorization or any other type of waiver, they don't want people looking over them anymore. Frankly, it's too subjective. And we learned that with our FOIA request with the FAA as well. Frankly, this is gonna make sure that decisions are more objective and that you get airspace authorizations and other waivers much faster. But there's some bombshell news here that we must talk about. One of the biggest provisions about these new executive orders might completely impact the way that we do business here in the United States. People have been worried about a DJI ban and we've even talked about it on the news show. If you remember about a month ago, May 7th, we notated that the president had executive orders on his desk that would essentially ban DJI. And if you know the Mavic 4 Pro, didn't really make a huge release here in the United States. We, ma we might now know why. Under this new executive order unleashing American drone dominance, under section 7.B, I'm gonna read it to you because you need to decide, does this mean a DJI ban or not? In order to protect the integrity of America's drone supply chain and ensure our technology remains secure from undue foreign influence, and exploitation, within 30 days of the date of this order, the Federal Acquisition Security Council shall publish a, publish a covered foreign entity list as defined in Section 1822, parentheses 1, of the National Defense Authorization Act for fiscal year 2024, identifying companies that pose supply chain risks. To ensure the vital components remain under American control and free from national security risks, within 90 days of the date of this order, the Secretary of Commerce shall take actions, including proposing rulemaking and conducting investigations to secure the United States drone supply chain against foreign control or exploitation. The next section, Section 8, says promoting the export of American-made civil unmanned aircraft systems. Frankly speaking, this could be groundbreaking news. Within 30 days, DJI might be on the entity list, making your used drones super valuable and making new drones, well, next to impossible to acquire. It seems like this is a ground shattering, This I don't even know what term to use, frankly, because this is gonna completely change the way that we do business. Now, many of you might be screaming of why would they ban DJI? If you haven't done the research to understand why the American government is interested in doing that, then you're doing yourself a disservice. In order to really understand any issue, you've gotta be willing to research both sides of that issue. There are real national security concerns. And while I love flying DJI myself, and while I do know that many American drones fall short of competing with DJI, it is important to understand why this is in America's best interest. It's not in the drone pilot's best interest. It's important to understand that most likely 
national security is going to supersede an American pilot's interest. Now, that being said, this does offer an amazing opportunity for serious drone pilots. Those pilots who are actually converting into American systems, they're utilizing drone systems that are not Chinese or foreign made. They now have a competitive advantage, a competitive advantage that will be really difficult to uh, ever come again. So if you're flying DJI and you're a serious drone service provider, it might be time to be looking at Skydio, Freefly Astro, or other drone manufacturers as well. That being said, we greatly appreciate your time here at Drone News Now. We're going to be coming out with more information on these new executive orders that are promoting U.S. drone manufacturers, that are promoting a competitive, uh, a global competitiveness, that are also forcing the FAA to update their outdated systems and coming up with a new UAS roadmap to allow for more advanced operations from drone operators as a whole. Let me know what you think in the comments below. This is breaking news. We haven't had a, a lot of time to really go over what this means for all of you, but you guys decide what these orders mean, how they're gonna impact you. There's obviously pros and cons in this, but let me know what you think in the comments below. For me, I'll be going back to the Drone U Experience training where we'll be having a lot of fun flying the Cinewhoop course, going through mapping and videography as a whole to create the most competitive pilots in the world. Thanks again for joining me at Drone News Now and the Drone U experience training.